New York comedian who's in Australia appearing in his play, Mind in the Waters. Please welcome Lee Rock. The island of Manhattan. Today is September 1st, 2015. I became a street performer on a dare. 16 years old. David Ramsey was a magician. Uh, we went to high school together. Everybody knew me as the mime. My high school yearbook has a photo of me leaning on nothing. I am now 51 years old. And I was wearing white face doing a acting scene because we went to high school of the performing arts the movie fame david dared me to go out on sixth avenue during lunch hour and fuck with the people i'll give you twenty dollars to go fuck with the people go do your mimey thing that's how it started i went out there and i made my first i don't know 25 bucks on sixth avenue during lunch hour and that was it. I went to college for one year. I decided let's go to France and study at the great mime schools of France. So David and I packed our gear up, took our street performing life to Paris in 1984, studying at the famous Jacques Lecoq School of Theater, along with another one called Etienne de Cruz, the godfather of modern mime. I have returned to busking on Pearl Street Mall here in Boulder, Colorado. I am back to doing my old show. It took me approximately 25 shows to get back to kind of the old Lee. I had massive hip replacement surgery and same old crap. I'm gonna start with a very cool trick. Back and giving each other shit while we wait our turn. Oh, it's bad. Oh, yeah, but I deserve those beers. Dude, I just sold your piece for four hundred dollars. Turn that shit off. The part I don't enjoy, like everybody else, is waiting around. So it's double-edged sword. It's fun to wait around. I'm excited. And at the same time, you just want to get your show over with. The dynamics of this particular location have changed over the years. It's a little slower than it used to be in the mid-90s. It wasn't until doing stand-up that I kind of felt more like, ah, now I'm on stage. Real audience. Late night shows and afternoon shows, so like their version of Ellen and their version of Letterman in Australia. So those were in my late 20s. I did a number of shows Thank there. You. I like to wear rib condoms inside out because I'm selfish. <laughs> it's 
stud. <laughs> the giant condom fish can grow up to 22 inches. 29 if it is black. <laughs> the giant condom fish can disguise itself in many different ways. Today we found this particular condom fish disguising itself as Lionel Richie. Say you, say me. Kimosabe. Kimosabe. A white man. I'll do that in slow motion for those of you who have missed it at home. Kind of went into stand up and got rid of the face. And you can't really use mime in your own everyday life that much. <laughs> I like doing this in the airport <laughs> next to that conveyor belt. I got my own. <laughs> See you later. Just one of the most perfect street shows I've probably ever had in the center of all of downtown Brisbane. And the intersection of the, their version of the outdoor walking mall. I did 30 minutes of verbal following. It was the perfect setting for me. People would go up and I would dub in whatever they were saying. They all stayed for about an hour and a half. Like the two hats were the most full I could have gotten them. You know, I've had a couple of different accidents over the years. I used to take a, a straw, put it in a woman's mouth. I was pretty good with a bullwhip. A lot better than Sam. God bless you, Sam. <laughs> when you line up the bullwhip, you have to go backward and up and then forward. I was out of it or something, and I, I flipped it up, and it clipped her in the chin really hard. Just the end of it. And the husband was like, no, nope, she's done. I've never had a really bad accident. So some people don't know that I left street performing because I was offered gigs with Cirque du Soleil. But Cirque du Soleil, 16, 17 years ago, was not the empire it is today. So I replaced a very well-known mime performer, René Bazinet, in Paris. I took over his roles, doing my material, original material. screenwriting and producing. He has a movie on Netflix. Downloading Nancy is a dark thriller about the first time the internet was ever used to really kill someone. A new movie coming out is called Benjamin Troubles about a pair of magic jeans that produce a hundred dollar bill every hour on the hour. Shit's going down. So, Busky, you know what? He's all about the <laughs> Some of those other performers, they'll be like, ah, oh, yeah, Lee, Lee, he just wanted to... But that's not really answering the question. Perseverance. <laughs> Persistence. Yes, the matrix. <laughs> and technique. I've had a really great night. Thank you for watching. Please participate by dropping something in the hat and keeping the street theater alive. Thank you. That's what you gotta have to get that crowd. <laughs>